72 and a half pounds, Cassius Clay. And his opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing 189 pounds, Alonzo Johnson. Let's have a good clean fight. Watch your hip punching and holding. Uh, don't hold one hand, hit with the other one. When I say break, break clean. Uh, the mandatory eight counts in effect. Man goes down three times in one round, fight's over. If you go down once, you must take the count of eight. Shake hands now, come out fighting, good luck to me. Scoring here in Louisville, the five point must system. The winner of the round gets five points. The loser, anything less, even rounds, each man gets five. It's an 18-foot ring, and they're wearing eight-ounce gloves. A 10-round to the bell for round one. Clay in the white trunks, Johnson in the black trunks. You're going to see a fast fighter in Cassius Clay. Clay has great speed, quick hands. He figures to double and triple jab his man. Johnson has been in with the best. Johnson told us he was going to press Clay. Clay is a good counter puncher. He's not been landing with the right hand, Clay hasn't, but he has been pumping that left in hard. There goes a good right. Johnson is trying to corner him. Don Asbury, the referee, getting them apart. Johnson's main hope at the moment seems to be for the youngster to make a mistake. One minute to go in round one. Note the rapidity and the dexterity of Clay's left hand. Some, sometimes starts it out as a jab and turns it into a hook. However, up on his toes as he is, he's not getting much punching power. Johnson is the more flat-footed of the two to give him power. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the back. Coming up to round two here in Louisville, Kentucky. Cash is Clay, White Trunks, Alonzo Johnson, and Black. Close enough, you'll see that Johnson's face is well smeared with Vaseline. Although it may rub off by the time we see it if he turns this way.
Johnson has his back to us. Now Clay is going flat-footed to hit a little harder. He's getting more power in his punches. Somebody behind us is yelling, Alonzo's an old man. He'll be 27 years old in September. Or rather, November. Clay apparently has a superabundance of energy. Than a minute to go in round two. Johnson working the body to slow down his faster opponent. Those long right hands of Clay are landing, but without too much steam, he's got no follow through on them. equalizing things a little bit there. There's the bell ending round two. A good round, the crowd likes it. Back to the corner with Cassius Clay facing him as Angelo Dundee, the well-traveled trainer of fighters. He goes all over on the outside of Solomon McTeer with the towel over his head. He was Ingemar Johansson's sparring partner for a while, and on the right-hand side is Rudy Clay, the brother of Cassius, who is an amateur fighter. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, we have Alonzo Johnson facing him and wiping off the face and maybe putting some more Vaseline on his manager, Mike Bazone, who's also the cut man in the corner. Leaning in from the outside, a familiar figure, Bob Baker. Uh, once rated heavyweight, he was number two contender for a while, a great boxer, Mr. Bob was. And the other man in the corner is Andy Tutter, carrying the pail out now. As we come up for round three here in the Kentucky Exposition Hall. Round three, Cassius Clay, the white trunk, comes out a little bit like Hurricane Jackson used to. Alonzo Johnson in the black. There's the grease on Johnson's face. Well, Johnson caught him leaning that time. The 
Ten round foul, and Johnson is biding his time, apparently. One minute to go in round three. undefeated but he's never fought any one of the caliber of Johnson Johnson himself has never been knocked out <laughs> 10 seconds to go in round three Johnson and Black. <laughs> that exchange in Johnson's corner, the best of the fight. Johnson. Round four is half over. Now Clay is touch shouting his man. seconds left in the round. Johnson down. And there's the mandatory eight count. He bounced right up. He claims it's not a knockdown. And the referee says no knockdown. The referee first decided to count, started to count, and then decided it was no knockdown. Uh, Johnson was off balance, but he was hit, too. the bell ending round four. The referee taking Clay back to his corner, John Asbury was also a fighter, amateur and pro, and was the all-Navy heavyweight champion and the Kentucky heavyweight champion quite a few years ago. John Asbury, the referee. There's a crowd of uh, 7,100 here tonight, one of the largest crowds to see a fight here in many years. And five. Cassius Clay, the white trunk, Alonzo Johnson, and Black. but that Clay has dominated the fight during the first four rounds. 
mostly with his speed, but Johnson is winging away. yelling to him to hook throw the left hook he leans pretty well back from punches along the rather uh, Cassius Clay does however leaning is considered dangerous too if you get tagged in that position you might go out Ten seconds to go in round five. 